listen to the messages coming from the universe because if you don't it's going to get louder and it's going to get louder and it's going to get louder and eventually it'll take you out somehow so what am i talking about oh it was close to 30 years ago i was working in crisis care for but it was a place for really dangerous people. That's why it's called crisis care. And it wasn't a good place to work. And it wasn't a real safe place to work. And truthfully, I spent more time counseling my colleagues there than I did the clients. So, hmm, what's wrong with that picture? Well, the universe kept saying, get out of here. This is not a healthy place for you to be. There's some better work for you to do where you can feel happier and run your own schedule. So I ignored the advice. I ignored the whispers. I ignored when the messages got louder and in my face until what was in my face was an enormous hand whacking me in the head because I was pinned in a corner by an enormous person. I couldn't move. I couldn't stop her. I couldn't get away. When the universe is telling you to do something, it's doing it for your own good. And if it's telling you to go and make a life change, pay attention. Because if you don't, the universe will have to keep telling you the same message. How does it do that? It does it by putting the same person in the same circumstance in your world. Person after person after person. They might have different faces and different names, but notice it's the same pattern. It's the same behavior that's bugging you. Because if the universe doesn't bug you, man, you're not going to make a change. People don't change when they're comfortable. People change when they're uncomfortable. And people change really fast when they're in a crisis. So what I've noticed recently, <laughs> oh, I was figuring out how to talk to you in the way that you most appreciate. So I'm talking about in your life, what's going to be the best fit for you so you can move your own life to a place where you're happier, where you're not being bombarded by the same kind of circumstance, the same kind of person, the same kind of situation that is really something you'd really prefer to avoid. And more than once, the universe has said, focus on relationships. So I made more than one relationship course. Lots of videos, lots of articles, lots of books, lots of, it was a CD at the time. Now it's a streaming <laughs> recording. And then I'd go and do something else because the universe would put really interesting different things in my path. And I don't know if that's uh, a drawback. I'm interested in like everything. So if somebody talks to me about something, I want to jump in and do it. When somebody recommends a book, I run out, well, to the library or an online library and I get it. Or I go to Audible and I buy it so that I can play it over and over and over and over and over again. And I also read books over and over and over and over again because I feel like I'm addicted to learning. So I enjoy things that friends and colleagues recommend to me. I enjoy when I go someplace and see somebody doing something I've never done before. I jump in. That's what got me into Qigong so many years ago. People were doing it outside on the grounds of a library. And I said, oh, that looks like something I want to do. And I had done it 
an audio tape very many years before. But you know what? Boy, it's a lot more fun in person. And I've kind of gone off on a tangent, so let me get back to paying attention to what the universe is telling you. One thing the universe definitely told me was my friends who are also addicted to learning, every time they jump into a new course, they tell me about it, and guess what I did? I jumped into the course to learn the same thing until one day I got the message from the universe which said, you don't have to learn everything just because your friends are doing it or practicing it or enjoying it. And that's when I stopped jumping into all the courses and actually told my friends, don't tell me about the new thing you're learning because I've got all I can deal with right now in my life and I'm focused where I want to be focused. So that was a helpful thing. But the thing that I kept going into other places and the universe kept saying, no, you got to go back to relationships. Stop going this way and stop going that way. And even with my Thrive Don't Just Survive, which was the ultimate life-changing thing for me and for many others who read my book, who came and did my courses, that wasn't it either. So once again, today, loud and clear, the universe said, relationships. That's why you do relationships intelligence. That's why you have all these relationship courses. That's why the universe gifted me with all this information about relationships that frankly I've never seen in any books or courses any place else. So when somebody has a relationship issue and they come to me, I can help them in ways that others can't. Well, here's one thing without going into great detail. I was married for 20 years before I finally said to my husband, who are you? Who are you? We've been married 20 years and you are no way the person I thought you were when we got married. Now here's the other side of that coin. I also stopped being who other people thought I should be. And I had become the person I always wanted to be. So he wasn't married to somebody who he had originally married in that sense. Anyway, after I had that realization, I spent the next 12 years figuring out why did I fall in love with him? What's all the good stuff about him? And I studied and I went to counseling and I read books. And finally, I realized, oh, I'm so unhappy when we do what he wants to do. Oh, he's so unhappy when we do what I want to do. This isn't healthy for either one of us. And so I actually took the actions to get a divorce. And it was important to do that because when the divorce happened, by the way, we weren't enemies. We didn't hate each other. We still loved each other. And we spent hours talking and actually crying because we still loved each other. However, it wasn't helping us. I got so sick. I had such hormonal issues. I put on more weight than I did when I was pregnant. And I really lost my health. So not a good thing. Not a good thing. And we went ahead, we got our divorce, and we're both much happier. We live lives the way we want to, for me, for him, and that lets us be healthier too. So what is the universe telling you to do that you just aren't focusing on that message because it's keeping coming 
in your face and you're not seeing it. Look around in your world. What kind of predicament do you keep finding yourself in? What kind of situation do you keep seeing? What kind of person keeps coming into your world? Because maybe it's time for you to take a step in a totally new direction. I thank you so much for joining me here today on Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. And by the way, it's getting metaphysical, recognizing those messages coming, coming, coming. And that's what's driving my life to be the way it is and your life to show up exactly the way it is right now. And so you know my metaphysical ministry. Why did I create that? Because what you see and what you experience in the world, in your life, in the three-dimensional world, it's only 1% of the reality that exists out there. You're missing 99% of life and what's exciting and what's extraordinary about the cosmos and about the energy running everything. I have a gift for you because I'm back focusing on relationships and because I've done this in such a big way if you follow the link that'll be in the show notes i will send you seven critical keys to successful relationships it's a very quick and can be a life changing if you actually go through and apply the seven steps uh, program for you and I want to remind you, you can listen to or watch any episode of the show over at letsgetmetaphysicalshow.com and that link will be in the show notes. Remember to join our Facebook group. You can ask questions. You can make a new friend. You can see the extras that I put out pretty much every day. Something goes in there. And... I also want to recommend you really want to start knowing who you are. You really want to start creating your world, your way, by really getting how the universe works, how all the invisible forces work, and how you can take care of yourself and one of my favorite authors, and he's seen this book many times, Born by D. Wallace. I've read, I think, all of her books now. And she does a great job of very clearly explaining how you can create your world consciously. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I N capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life happens outside of you. It all happens within. I look forward to seeing you here next time.